Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to the kitchen, guys. We're doing some meal prep. First thing is, I've got some ground beef over here. Actually, ground lamb. Two pounds of ground lamb. I'm cooking all of this at once, and then I'll divide this into three different um, batches for three different meals. Probably won't cook them till tomorrow. I'm just doing a little bit in advance today. And then, guys, can you tell what that is? I'm making some more chocolate for David. He loved this fudge. I think this time we're going to actually put a little bit of yummy nuts in it so if you haven't seen this recipe guys here's a link in the upper right hand corner check it out you won't regret it oh my gosh delicious i've had maybe five people come to me uh telling me that they've made it delicious thank you so much mitch for this recipe i love it all right and there'll also be a link to mitch's original recipe in my description box all right guys meal prep here we go all right guys, so here we are getting ready to do the dessert. I am doing this fudge a little bit differently this time, guys. I am actually layering the bottom of my pan with nuts. In fact, I'm using my nuts from one of my hauls from Aldi's. I would honestly prefer to have just cashews, just walnuts, or just macadamia nuts. However, I don't have it on hand. Let me explain why. You don't know the ratio of things that you're gonna get in each bite. So to me, it makes sense just to have one thing. I don't have it. So guys, I'm not gonna pick through. I could have picked through, but I'm not. We're just gonna improvise. All right, so guys, I have one pan that's gonna have nuts, one that won't, and I, I'm using these because I don't have a lot of because I don't have a lot of space in my freezer and it came with lids. I'm just gonna save the lids and use this for the next batch. Yeah. Anyway, nothing goes to waste. So I'm gonna go ahead and layer this and then I'm gonna put um, a second batch of nuts and then layer it again. So I could do top and bottom, but I'm not. It's gonna be a nice little treat in the center, and then I'll put it in here as well. When it's finished, I'll cut everything out. I'll cut everything in half, and so I'll, I should still have at least 30 items when I'm done with this. All right, guys. So this will have two ounces of nuts. This will have no nuts, and uh, a happy David. All right, guys. So here we are. Here are the two fudges finished. I'm going to put these in the freezer, let them set up, and we'll see them tomorrow. Once they're set up, here is the ground meat. And uh, guys, I saved all the fat that's inside of this as well. I did not, um, hey Daisy, I did not drain the grease. It's all in here and we'll be cooking with these tomorrow. I might go ahead and get started on one more recipe right now that doesn't involve any of this. Hi Daisy. Daisy, you can't have chocolate, honey. And you can't have the artificial sweetener. It's toxic to our little puppy. So be, so be careful, guys, if you're using sugar alcohols, if you have um, artificial sweetener around, very, very toxic for your pups. And let me go ahead and freeze these, put this in the fridge, and I might start one more recipe, we'll see. It's the next day, Sunday. Didn't go walking today. I might try to hit the gym later on, we'll see. Anyways, look at this, guys. Yeah, I know. David loves these. The stevia is allowed on my June challenge. I really don't eat a lot of this, guys. David, on the other hand, loves this. Can you tell? He already got into it. It was freezing last night. I'd cut it up so that he could have a piece, and then he just continued with a little bit more. So I'm gonna get these cut up, put them in bags, and I'm actually interested in trying this one to see how it tastes. So we're gonna be making some nutritional yeast bread today and trying out a recipe for some tortillas. So you'll see full recipes for that as well as sneak previews to it in this meal prep. All right guys, see you in a bit. All right guys, welcome back to meal prep. I am doing two meals. I'm actually doing two recipes that I have never made before. One is a tortilla and one is a bread. Thank you, Deborah, for this recipe. I'm gonna check it out. And then this one is the tortillas. So let's get started, guys. And uh, you'll have full recipes for these as well, all right? Welcome to day two of meal prep. Oh, why am I doing this, guys? So I'm really wanting some hamburgers. I wanna have a real hamburger. So that's part of why I'm doing this. I wanna have some buns for my hamburger instead of just doing protein style. And then this, 
I don't know. I've got a little surprise for you guys. So right now we're just going to get the basic recipes and then we'll build an actual meal from these. All right, guys, stay tuned. And I also have the rolls in the oven. They'll be coming out for a second, guys. Tortillas, guys, had to abandon that. Terrible, didn't turn out good. So they would make a good pancake though. So I don't know. All right, guys, more meal prepping. Oh, let me tell you about this first of all. All right, so I didn't want to use pork rinds today. In here I have uh, about a quarter cup of the grated Parmesan. I have a about two tablespoons of coconut flour. I have about half a cup of um, almond flour. Lots of the Slap Your Mama salt seasoning, a little bit of celery salt, and some onion powder. And that's what I'm making my wings with. Hey everybody, it's Alma, all right? So this is the last bit of my meal prepping, guys. I know it doesn't seem like a lot, and it really isn't, but um, just wanna show you guys again, these green containers will save your produce forever. So I, you'll see these purchased in my upcoming haul. Um, but yeah, cutting your lettuce, getting it ready, prepping it a little bit, cutting off the edges. This has been used a little bit today on a recipe. And then getting my strawberries prepped. I just put paper towels between the layers to kind of absorb any extra moisture that's in there. And then guys, I didn't show you this on my grocery haul. I'd purchased this yesterday. Hector, this is because of you, Hector. Recipe coming up on this as well. All right, guys, so listen, I am gonna have um, probably uh, my second video going up tonight which is this video and then you'll probably see two videos tomorrow I apologize I don't like having more than one video a day I am so excited about one recipe the first recipe I did today oh my gosh so delicious you're gonna love it guys I can't wait I can't wait I can't wait all right so uh, be patient with me if I get two videos up. If I don't, and I only do one video tomorrow, make sure, let's see what's tomorrow, tomorrow's Wednesday, make sure Thursday you tune in for a recipe that you will adore, promise you. Love, love, love. All right, guys, have a blessed day. I look forward to seeing everybody, hearing your comments, and um, I'm catching up on videos too, guys. All right. Love my keto family. Have a blessed day, guys. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday. It's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.